गुड डे एवरी वन माई सेल्फ तृप्ति मिश्रा टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस क्लास टेंथ साइंस चैप्टर वन केमिकल रिएक्शंस एंड इक्वेशंस पार्ट टू आवर टूडेज टॉपिक इज केमिकल इक्वेशंस ए केमिकल इक्वेशन इज द सिंपलेस्ट शॉर्टेस्ट वे to represent the reactants products and their physical states symbolically for example when a magnesium ribbon is burnt in oxygen it gets converted to magnesium oxide this description of a chemical reaction in the form of a sentence is quite long if we write it in a shorter form representing reactant and products in symbols then it is a chemical equation now here first you should know what is reactant and what is product reactants reactants are the substances that undergo chemical change in the reaction for example during the burning of magnesium ribbon magnesium and oxygen are the reactants product the new substance formed during the reaction is the product for example when a magnesium ribbon is burnt in oxygen it gets converted to magnesium oxide here the new substance formed during the reaction is magnesium oxide so magnesium oxide is product here now here before going to writing a chemical equation first we should also know about the world equation a world equation shows change of reactants to products through an arrow placed between them the reactants are written on the left hand side denoted by lhs with a plus sign between them similarly products are written on right hand side denoted by rhs with a plus sign between them the arrow head points towards the products and shows the direction of the reaction for example when a magnesium ribbon is burnt in the oxygen then we will write the world equation as below given in the picture magnesium plus oxygen arrow magnesium oxide here magnesium and oxygen are the reactants which are written on left hand side and magnesium oxide is the product which is written on the right hand side chemical equations can be made more concise and useful if we use chemical formula instead of words a chemical equation represent a chemical reaction if we recall formula of magnesium it is mg capital m small g oxygen it is o2 and magnesium oxide it is mgo the above world equation can be written as mg plus o2 gives mgo this is a type of react re writing the chemical equation chemical equations can broadly classified into two types a unbalanced chemical equation which is also called skeletal chemical equation or b balanced chemical equation then first unbalanced chemical equation if we count and compare the number of atoms of each element on the left hand side and right hand side of the arrow then if the number of atoms of each element is not same on the both side of the equation it is called unbalanced chemical equation here 
the mass is also not the same on the both side of the equation such a chemical equation is also called skeletal chemical equation balanced chemical equations recall the law of conservation of mass that we have studied in class 9th that is mass can neither be created nor destroyed in a chemical reaction that is the total mass of elements present in the products of a chemical reaction has to be equal to the total mass of the elements present in the reactants in other words the number of atoms of each elements remain the same before and after the chemical reaction hence we need to balance a skeletal chemical reaction and after balancing we get a balanced chemical equation a balanced chemical equation is that equation in which the number of atoms of each elements remains the same before and after the chemical reaction for example in the equation zinc plus sulfuric acid gives zinc sulfate plus hydrogen this equation can be represented in the form of chemical equation as zn plus h2so4 gives znso4 plus h2 if we examine the number of atoms of different elements on both sides of the arrow then element of zinc in the left hand side or reactant one zinc atom is there and at the right hand side in the product also one zinc atom is there then hydrogen two at the left hand side and two at the right hand side then sulfur one at the left hand side one at the right hand side then oxygen atom four at the left hand side and four at the right hand side so thus the number of atoms of each element is the same on both sides of the arrow it is a balanced chemical equation now we will learn how to balance a chemical equation this whole method we can divide in seven small steps step 1 to balance a chemical equation first draw boxes around each formula we should not change anything inside the boxes while balancing the equation so after drawing the boxes the equation will be represented as shown in the slide fe plus h2o arrow fe3o4 plus h2 in step second we will list the number of atoms of different elements present in the unbalanced equation for example here in this equation three elements are present iron hydrogen and oxygen the number of atoms in the left hand side iron atom is 1 hydrogen is 2 and oxygen is 1 number of atoms in the products or right hand side is iron atoms are 3 hydrogen atoms are 2 and oxygen atom are 4 step 3 it is often convenient to start balancing with the compound that contains the maximum number of atoms it may be a reactant or a product in that compound select the element which has the maximum number of atom using these criteria we select fe3o4 and the element oxygen in it there are four oxygen atoms on the right hand side and only one on the left hand side to balance the oxygen atoms initially oxygen atoms in the reactant is 
as the form of H2O and in the product four oxygen atoms are there in the form of Fe3O4. To balance we will multiply reactant side by four. To equalize the number of atoms it must be remembered that we cannot alter the formula of the compound or element involved in the reaction. For example, to balance oxygen atoms, we can put coefficient 4 as 4 H2O. But we can't make any change in the formula of water. It will be always H2O. Now the partially balanced equation becomes Fe plus 4H2O gives Fe3O4 plus H2. Step 4. Iron and hydrogen atoms are still not balanced. Now we will pick any of these elements to proceed further. Let us balance hydrogen atoms in the partially balanced equation. To equalize the number of hydrogen atoms, Make a number of molecules of hydrogen as 4 on the right hand side. Atoms of hydrogen. Initially in the reactant, total 8 hydrogen atoms are there in the form of 4 H2O. In the product, initially 2 hydrogen atoms are there in the form of H2. To balance hydrogen atoms, we will multiply 4 by 4 at the product side. So at the product side it will be 2 multiply 4. The equation would be Fe plus 4H2O arrow Fe3O4 plus 4H2. Step 5. Now we will examine the above equation and pick up the third element which is not balanced. Here that is iron which is not balanced till now. Now atoms of iron initially in the reactant one iron is there in the form of Fe. In the product initially three iron atoms are there in the form of Fe3O4. To balance in the reactant, we will multiply it by 3. So, it will be 1 multiply 3. In the product, already it is 3. To equalize iron, we take the 3 atoms of iron on the left hand side. Now, the equation will be 3 Fe plus 4 H2O arrow Fe 3O4 plus 4 H2. Step 6. Finally, to check the correctness of the balanced equation, we count the atoms of each element on both sides of the equation. Here the equation is 3Fe plus 4H2O arrow Fe3O4 plus 4H2. As we see, at the left hand side, 3 iron atoms are there. Right hand side also, 3 iron atoms are there. At the left hand side, 8 hydrogen atoms are there. Right hand side, also 8 hydrogen atoms are there. At the left hand side, 4 oxygen atoms are there. Right hand side, also 4 oxygen atoms are there. So, it is a balanced chemical equation. The number of atoms of elements on both sides are equal. This equation is now balanced. This method of balancing equation is called hit and trial method as we make trials to balance the equation by using the smallest whole number coefficient. Step 7. Writing symbols of physical state. To make a chemical equation more informative, the physical states of the reactants and products are mentioned along with their chemical formula. The gaseous, liquid, 
aqueous and solid states of the reactants and products are represented by the notations small g small l aq and small s respectively the word aqueous is written if the reactant or product is present as the solution in water now the reaction above balanced chemical reaction can be written as 3 fe s means solid plus 4 h2o gas or steam we can say arrow fe3o4 as solid plus 4 h2 g gas symbol g is used with h2o to indicate that in this reaction water is used in the form of steam sometimes the chemical reaction conditions such as temperature pressure catalyst etc for the reaction are indicated above or below the arrow in the equation for example carbon monoxide co gas plus hydrogen 2h2 g arrow at the 340 atmospheric pressure gives ch3oh methanol in liquid form another example is the photosynthesis reaction which is used by the plants to make their own food is 6 co2 carbon dioxide gas in the form aqueous aq plus 12 h2o liquid in the presence of sunlight and chlorophyll it gives c6h12o6 means glucose in the aqueous form aq plus 6o2 oxygen in the form aq aqueous plus 6h2o liquid now again here are some exercise questions for you the first question is write the balanced equation for the following chemical reactions first hydrogen plus chlorine gives hydrogen chloride second barium chloride plus aluminum sulfate gives barium sulfate plus aluminum chloride the next question is write a balanced chemical equation with state symbols for the following reactions first solutions of barium chloride and sodium sulfate in water react to give insoluble barium sulfate and the solution of sodium chloride second sodium hydroxide solution in water reacts with hydrochloric acid solution in water to produce sodium chloride solution and water please give your suggestions in comment box like the video share the video and subscribe my youtube channel if it is beneficial for you thank you